Hey guys, Hiller here from my so-called home. Now I just got back from a pretty epic yard sale trip. Um, it's Saturday and there was like a neighborhood-wide garage sale going on at like a couple towns over and I looked it up on Craigslist this morning to see because I knew I wanted to go to some yard sales but it was very cloudy today like all morning it was very cloudy and it seemed like it was gonna rain all day so I think all of the people that were having their yard sales were like a little bit nervous that nobody was gonna come or that the rain was just gonna wash everything out but it the rain held off I mean I went out around 9 in the morning and it, everything started around 8 30 so we went out at 9 and I'm done now it's about 10 30 so I was probably done at like 10 15 or so just going around to about eight different yard sales and I found some awesome things for such awesome prices and I'm so excited to share them with you um, if you are not one that likes to go to yard sales or thinks that garage sales and yard sales are a waste of time or everything's dirty and you think it's gross or something let me tell you it is not it's awesome and I mean yeah sometimes the majority of it is things that you wouldn't want just like going to any thrift store or Goodwill or anything like that but you can also find some awesome gems amongst all the other you know stuff that probably just should be thrown away but I found some really cool things and I also went to a yard sale last weekend and picked up just three things so I'm gonna show you those first that I got last weekend and they'll go ahead and show you what I got today. It's pretty, pretty cool. I'm psyched about it. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this already, but at the first yard sale I went to last weekend, I picked up this Diptyque candle. The brand is Diptyque, which is a very popular candle brand. The candles do smell, you know, really, really nicely. They give off a lot of nice fragrance and it's a high quality candle and this is in the cypress um, scent but I didn't really care for the scent of the candle I really just wanted um, the actual container the actual bottle or you know glass jar that the candle came in the scent was okay it just wasn't really you know it was a nice quality smell just not really my favorite so I all I did was popped the candle in the freezer for about two hours and then took all the candle wax out of it and now I'm using it in my medicine cabinet to hold my makeup brushes and my little roller ball of perfume and I think it's really pretty really classy because Diptyque is actually a pretty expensive brand and this candle was only one dollar so even though I just wanted the jar you know it's still worth the one dollar to have a really pretty uh, makeup brush little organizer. Now the other two items I got at that first yard sale last weekend, uh, the first one is this little bunny egg holder for Easter and I think it's so sweet with the little like springs to hold all the Easter eggs after you dye them or you could just use it to display you know fake Easter eggs or whatever and you could put maybe grass and candy in the center or something. I just thought it was really sweet and it was also only one dollar. Apparently Penny is very interested in it. Um, and then this is the third thing I got and if you maybe can tell what it is possibly it is a wreath um, organizer wreath container for storing your wreaths when they're not in use and it's a really nice quality plastic it's very thick and it has little like uh, snaps on the side and this was also only one dollar so I actually didn't have a wreath to put in it when I bought it but I knew that I wanted to get a nice Christmas wreath for this year. I usually just do hanging pine cones on our front door, but I knew I wanted to do a wreath. So I, when I saw this for $1, I figured, why not? I'm sure eventually, sometime between now and Christmas, I'll find a wreath. So I picked it up and I'm very excited about that. Now let me show you what I got today. So here's everything I got today, and I'm gonna go one by one and show you. You can see there is a lot of seasonal things, which was really awesome because obviously we're not in that season right now, so everything was super, super cheap. Everything I got today was about 13 or $14, which is really awesome. So let me go in one by one. The first thing I got were these set of owl um, photo frames. They were only $1 for all six of them or is there six? Yeah, six frames. But I mean, the owl pictures are okay. It's not really, um, 
you know, my style, honestly, but I just really liked the frames. I like all the round frames and I think they could be a really cool grouping and I would just have to like unscrew the back and put my own picture in them and I could possibly paint the frames, but I mean, six of them for $1, I couldn't really pass it up. Um, I mean, the owls are kind of cool. They kind of look very um, fall-ish, so maybe I'll use one or two of them around fall, but if I wanted to do like a nice grouping of them, I thought that would look cool too. And again, $1, it was worth it. Another frame I picked up was this one that I thought was really cool and like kind of rustic, and it was from World Market, which we don't have a World Market in New Jersey, or at least not that I know of or not anywhere close to me. I had never even heard of World Market until like a couple years ago, but I liked the frames. I liked the wood kind of like rustic you know look of them but I wasn't really a fan of this like wrought iron detailing at the top but then I saw that it was just screwed on with two you know little screws on each end so I thought that was easy enough I could just take it off and then maybe flip it over I don't know and then you know I would just have two rustic wood frames that kind of like sit up like that at an angle and I could put them on our picture frame I mean put them on our uh, built-in bookshelves or something like that and uh, that was also one dollar so I liked that this as well was a nice frame it was also one dollar um, the picture that's in it is okay I mean it does look kind of um, wintry because it's black and white with like pine trees but what I really liked was the actual frame itself and the matting was really nice so for one dollar if I want to swap out the picture that's fine and if I want to keep it and use it to decorate for winter or something you know that's cool too okay so that is all the seasonally neutral things now let's get into the very seasonally specific things that I got first I got this plug-in jack-o-lantern it has a little uh, light bulb on the inside and you can plug it in and like switch it on and off this was completely free it was in a pile of free things and I thought it was cute enough to use for Halloween but I was also thinking I could maybe just ignore the plug completely, turn it around and use it just plain like that or possibly paint it because I really am a fan of white pumpkins or like creamy pumpkins. So I could paint it or just use it, you know, on this side or, you know, use it for its intended purpose like this. So I have a couple options with that, but again, completely free. Uh, another thing I got for Halloween or fall was this mug and it has a little pumpkin on the inside which I thought was so cute. Black with orange polka dots and this was only 50 cents and I really love the fall so I love breaking out new mugs for it. It's just really, you know, fun to look forward to. Um, these set of votive candles were 50 cents for the pair, so 25 cents each, and there was a candle at the base of them which is completely melted out. So I'm going to actually pop these in the freezer as well so I can get the rest of the wax out. Then I can just put my own candle in, and I just thought they were so pretty. Um, I don't know if you can really tell when the light shines through. There's like a, a wheat pattern. So the inside is silver. Oh, there you go. You can see a little bit better. Uh, the inside is silver and the outside is like a gold. So you can see the, the um, wheat leaves. I thought that was so pretty. So those will look really nice for the fall as well. Um, and then also going along the fallish theme, although this isn't super fall, it just kind of is a little bit fall. Um, it's this little candle holder as well. I mean, you could put other things in it. It doesn't have to be for candles, but this was $3. And I just liked all these little holders, kind of looked like um, little nests. So I thought it'd be cute. Even if I took these little glass inserts out, you could put like a little bird in there or something. I don't know, I just thought it was so precious that they all looked like little nests. So I've always wanted kind of one of these candle holders that are different tiered and like a nice little grouping like that. So when I saw it for three bucks, I picked it up. Now also from a different garage sale, I got three different strands of like decorative vines or whatever. I mean, you would buy these at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something like that. So two of them are like leaves. Um, you know, like fall-ish leaves. There's two strands of those. And then there's one strand, if I can separate it from the bunch, that's all little like apples. There you go, you can see that. Apples and little berries. And I just thought that was so sweet with the little, kind of like crab apples, if you know what those are. I just thought that was really cute. So every time I see these at Michael's, I always want them, but it's like five or six dollars each you know, each strand. So I'm just super cheap and I don't want to pay that. And the ones that you get the Dollar Tree are 
kind of not that great, but these were all a dollar each at the garage sale and they are chock full of like little berries and little like squiggly things. So definitely a nice quality vine to decorate with for the fall and only a dollar each. And then these, I don't know how much these were, but they kind of got thrown in with the, with the pair, you know, with the set of those. And they're just like little, um, I don't know, like little cotton buds, I guess. I thought these were so precious. Like just in a, a little simple vase, I think those would look really sweet for um, any season, really. They're just super neutral, so those are really cute. Um, and also kind of along the fallish theme, I got this little bag of decorative apples that are kind of like painted gold. Let me see if I can open it. Get my, get one of these out. And this whole bag was only 50 cents. So they're just decorative painted like faux apples um, and again for the fall I thought they would be really pretty there's two big ones and a smaller one that's really cute so very very cute oh oh last thing for fall I can't forget this this I was so excited about oh my goodness so this is entire bag of just decorative faux pumpkins okay let me open this a little bit more Okay, so I think this entire bag wound up being a dollar, which is incredible. I love all these decorative pumpkins, but if you were to buy them at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, they would be like at least a dollar each. And there's even some little corn. How cute is that? So I'm super excited about this. It's ridiculous how excited I am. Even some of them are kind of like those sugared ones that are kind of glittery. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for the fall. This is like so ridiculously exciting. You could like put these in a vase or just put them like singly strewn about your home or something, but they're so cute. This one's glittery also. So I'm so excited for this $1 can't beat that. Okay, now let's move on to Christmas. All right, so I just got a couple things for Christmas. I didn't go too crazy. Um, obviously it's many months away, but when you see things to decorate with for Christmas or any season that you're not currently in and it's a good deal, just grab it and you know, put it away for the you know couple months and then when you pull it out it's exciting you have new decorations for the holiday and you didn't have to spend a lot of money when you're already spending tons of money on christmas presents for other people so these two trees i think they were like a dollar each and they have little burlap wrapped bases and they're so so cute i absolutely love them i love seeing these used for decorating for Christmas, just super simple. You could put ornaments on them, but I really just like them, you know, as is. So they were so cute, a dollar each, I believe. And then last but not least, I picked up a wreath to put in my little wreath holder. So yeah, I'm super excited about this wreath. At first, I kind of looked at it and I was like, Eh, a used wreath, but the more I looked at it, I think it is actually really pretty because the, you know, the pine is a nice, like, dark green sometimes when they get old they get like lighter and sun like sun bleached but this one was nice and dark and it has these little green leaves like kind of like you know sprinkled throughout plus it has little red berries that have like the really really fine berry also um you know with the bigger berry and it has white poinsettias which i absolutely love i think they're so pretty so Ulti you know, all in all, this was a perfect wreath. This was definitely something that would catch my eye if I were at a regular store and I would want to buy it. And I think I paid like a dollar or two dollars for it. So super exciting. It does have this red bow on it, but I don't know. I may or may not keep this. I think I would actually really like to take it off and put a burlap bow. I think that would be really pretty. So just to make it a little bit more of like the neutrals and like more natural kind of like my color scheme. And then it's awesome that I now have a wreath holder to keep it in to protect it until Christmas time. And it fits like a glove. Look at that. It's like they were meant to be together. So for two or three bucks, I got a new wreath that's absolutely beautiful and a container to hold it in. I'm super psyched. And I just took out some of this um, Windex touch-up that I really like, that's antibacterial, and just wiped down all of the inside and outside of the top and the bottom. And I tried to like wipe up a few of the leaves just to get a little bit of um, like dust and stuff off. And then I'm gonna put the lid on and put it down in our basement. And yeah, I'm super, super excited. So that was everything that I got today. And again, I think I spent like $14. So definitely go and check out your uh, local yard sales or 
you know, garage sales, look it up on Craigslist ahead of time just to find out like, I like to find the um, multifamily or neighborhood garage sales because then you really get, you know, the most, you know, you go to one neighborhood and you can walk around to lots of different garage sales. You don't have to like get in your car and go find another one or something like that. That's definitely your best bet. So if you have found anything cool at a garage sale recently, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. I love yard sailing and thrifting. It's just just what I love to do. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.